Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. Do you like to sing songs? Do you like to praise God with your voice? Well, that's a book in the Bible. It's called the Book of Psalms. And those psalms are songs that have been sung throughout the ages from the time of the Old Testament, King David, years before Jesus, even up to now, that people continue to sing the songs of the psalms. So today's story is Sing a Song of Gladness, and it's based on the psalms. It's written by Candace Clayton and illustrated by Don Cooker. Psalm 8. I look to the sky which you have made at the myriad lights glowing there. And I ask, what am I that you think of me? O Lord, what am I that you care? You've made me rule this glorious world. You've crowned me your child and heir. O Lord, I can only sing your praise when I see how much you care. God always shows us he cares for us. From Psalm 19, God's glory echoes through the skies. It whispers in the dawn and trumpets in the setting sun when day is almost gone. Although they never make a sound, God's works his goodness tell. His voice is mute and message rings. God, praise God for all is well. Psalm 23. I'm sure some of you have heard this one. I can feel the love of God surround me as I go through peaceful fields by waters still on high paths and on low. The things I feel all dis things I fear all disappear. Each snare, each enemy. God's love directs my every step, surrounds me, sets me free. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 24. Open the gates, fling them wide. The great king will come in. The king who has defeated evil, death, and sin. His kingdom cannot falter. He rules from shore to shore. Open the gates, fling them wide. Sing praises forevermore, even on snowy days. Psalm 37, do not be sad because you lack some things that money buys. The people knowing only gold know only that which dies. And they will fade like winter grass or smoke across a lake. But those who put their trust in God keep no peace for the world can't shake. When we know God, we know that we can't be shaken because he can't be shaken. Psalm 40, I cried out to the Lord for help, and he was listening. He took me from my pit of gloom and taught me how to sing. And now I sing his song, so all will see what God can do. will turn to him when they are lost. will sing a new song too. Psalm 69, sometimes I feel completely lost and no one cares for me. I have no friend to turn to, no answer to my plea. I walk alone in trouble. My path seems dark and wild. But then the God who loves me whispers, you're my child. What a wonderful thing to be reminded that God loves us and calls us his child. Psalm 73, for a while I tried to understand why certain nasty folk seem to live a carefree life and treat pain as a joke. They make fun, they speak evil, they thrive on violence, and yet they seem to prosper. It didn't seem, I didn't see the sense, but God taught me the answer. Evil isn't as it seems. Its power grows in darkness, but vanishes like a dream. The more we stay with Jesus in the light of the world, we will be set free and with nothing to fear. Psalm 96. 
roar oceans with mighty sound fields come alive with song shout your joy out loud you woods your god is great and strong sing a new song to the lord creatures large and small people pause and sing to him for he has saved us all we praise god for all that he has done by sending his son to be our savior psalm 100 sing a song with all your heart show god that you are glad that he made snow and butterflies it's no time to be sad god made you and god made me we all belong to him our god is good so sing your praise with choirs of seraphim seraphim are angels so it says we should sing our praises even with the angels psalm 104 you use the clouds as your chariots. You walk on the wind's swift wings. The heavens you stretched out like a tent, and all creation sings. The cedars that rustle in the breeze house jeweled colored birds, and in green valleys cattle graze while mountains hide goat herds. Countless creatures roam the land or swim in ocean's roar. You feed them from your bounteous hand you give enough and more god doesn't just give us what we need he gives us enough that we should share psalm 108 wake up my soul wake up and sing of what your lord has done shout praises through the morning mist and wake the sleepy sun Wake up my harp and let me praise resound from every string. His love is great and good and sure. Wake up, O world, and sing. What a great thing it is to hear the birds singing first thing in the morning, or the, fro the frogs croaking, or the loons looning. Psalm 121. I look to the mountains and call to the Lord. My way seems so rocky and steep. But still, I'm sure that the Lord hears my prayer. Our God does not slumber in her sleep. The Lord will protect me. He'll stay by my side in sunlight, in night silver glow. No danger can harm me. He'll keep me secure in his love as I come and as I go. Psalm 146. I know there is no king on earth as mighty Lord as you, no president or queen alive who loves you as who loves us as you do. Yet you set the prisoners free again, you make the blind to see, and best of all, your kingdom lasts through all eternity. God is the greatest ruler of them all, and none even come close. No army could fight against him. He is the strongest, the greatest, the mightiest, and the most full of love. Psalm 147. Grass grows green upon the hill and drinks the gentle rain. The countless stars are scattered wide and each one has a name. The winds blow warm across the wheat. The rivers flow to seas. The horses run swift. The bird soars high. Praise God for all of these. As the Psalms remind us, we are encouraged always to sing God's praises because he is so amazing. His love for us is great. And the things he does is beyond understanding how much he loves you and he loves me. May God bless you and fill you today with warmth of his love.